did you make of the game this afternoon? Yeah, a really, really good test for us. Um, again, playing a different stadium, different pitch conditions, four metres narrower, five metres shorter against a top opponent. Uh, and we are one nil down, you know, and, um, and to play in this kind of context is really, really good for us um, to see the level and the capacity that we have to adapt and, and win in any context. So really pleased. And Ethan Winery had another really impressive mm. display uh, in the first half. I'm just wondering, for this season going forward, what do you see his role in the squad? Is he going to be with the first team? Do you think he'll go out on loan? How do you see him for this season? It's year? always in the hands of the players. So show what you can do, show that ambition, that determination, that quality, and things will happen naturally. So no decision's been made on, on what, how you're going to use no, him? The decision is that tomorrow he's going to train with us again, and if he continues to play like that, he's going to play again on Wednesday some minutes for sure. Yes, Sam. Mikel, uh, Gabriel Martinelli in the second half came on for a 20-minute cameo. Straight off the bat, he's playing well, scores that uh, wonderful goal. How promising is it to see him hit the ground running and w what's the potential for him in terms of starting in this new season? That's the mentality of the team and, and the individuals. One training session and he comes in and plays at that level. Uh, that means that he's not coming here to get prepared. He's come prepared to show how prepared he is. And that's a very different approach. And um, and I loved it. Okay, James. Hi, Mikhail. Uh, Gabriel Jesus started today and scored. Last season, you had some issues with fitness and, and with form. How happy are you with the condition he's in now? He looks really good. He looks really sharp. Um, he's changed a lot of things over the summer. Uh, he's come in top condition again. And when you have that baseline, I said all the things um, can be built, but without that foundation, you don't have a player. And he needs to be in that condition to get the best out of him. He realized that, and um, and I'm really happy what he's shown today again. When you say he's changed a lot of things, can mm. you give some indication of what, what that might be? Well, that's a question for him, but uh, I know that it's a fact, and you can see that the way he looks, his rhythm, his sharpness, the way he's moving. And you can see in his eyes as well that there is again some spark there because he's got now a point to prove. And that's good. Thank you. Hi, Michael. Hello. Um, what are your thoughts about the growth of football in America? Uh, you've been here many times now, and yeah. I'd love to know what your impressions are from, from seeing it for all these years. Well, it's, it's evolving and growing uh, in the right direction um, because they are... The teams uh, in the MLS, they become more and more competitive. They become more attractive. They are able to hold as well now big competition. So it's as well, it's, it's, a, it's attracting a lot of attention into the country. And um, and they have now unbelievable foundations uh, to in a few years, I think, to be one of the leaders as well in, in soccer. Sophie? Hi, Mikel. Um, Heaven um, made a little mistake for the first goal and I and then completely had a turnaround and played some really good football, great touches. Uh, what were your thoughts? Because to bounce back like that after not competing in that first moment mm -hmm. must have been difficult, but his mentality to come back was pretty impressive. Very impressive. Uh, at 17, I don't know how many players they are able to do that in a, in a stage like this. He's lost a duel against one of the most um, strongest and fastest players in the world. It can happen, but it's, as you said, what was the reaction afterwards? The composure, the quality, um, the body language that he had afterwards is, is remarkable. Really, really happy with him. Hi, Mikel. Hi. Can you talk about Timber a little bit? Because he played 63 minutes on Wednesday and then 63 tonight. Can you just explain what you've seen from him in terms of getting more confidence and just being a, a better player? Well, uh, now he's getting the rhythm. Obviously, he's missed a lot of football in the last year or so. Uh, we asked him to play in a, in a different position that probably we had in mind, uh, but with the numbers and the plays that we had at the moment. And um, I'm really happy. Uh, you just look at him. He's pressing his leadership, his composure, uh, his, his high quality. So it's, it's like a new signing for us. It's, it's a big addition for the team. James? Hi, Mikhail. Just back on Jesus. Um, there's obviously been a lot of talk about whether you might sign a striker or not, but do you think he can use that as motivation? You say he's got a point to prove, is that kind of part of it? I think that motivation has to come within himself, with his self-demands and, and how much better he's able to, to make the team. He's shown it. 
you know, he transformed the energy and the belief of that team. And uh, and he's got it there. I think if he's waiting for something external to motivate him, I think it's going to be for a really short period. If it's something internally that is happening, that's going to last long and it's going to be consistent. And hopefully that's the case. Mikel, hello. Uh, you've been on a couple of U.S. tours now and you've played friendlies all around the country, mm. but friendly doesn't quite describe the intensity that we see out there. What's the message to the boys in the locker room when you come test. up for a game like it's this? It's a test. Yeah. It's a test. There are no three points, but there's a lot of things on the table um, and you could see. I think both teams the same. I think Man United as well. They competed uh, at the highest level as well. And, and this is what you want as well. You want to get well prepared um, for the demands that we have in the league and in Champions League. You better have a, a good understanding of where your team is um, as quick as possible. Hi, Mikel. Um, in the absence of Saliba, you've gone for Timber at centre-back, White right back, but White did play a full season at centre-back when he arrived. Timber's played full-back a lot. Just wondering what makes you make the decision to use them, how you use them. Making one change and not two. It's simple. And as well, there is so much chemistry in that right unit. Uh, that relationship has been there for a long time. And um, I believe at the moment that it's better just to touch one thing. And um, and as well, because physically, for this start period, the demands at centre-back are slightly less than what he will have to do at, at right-back. And, and demanding him to make those steps in a, in a relatively short period of time, we believe that it's better for him. Hi, Mikel. Cesar from AF TV. Um, did the boys, in your um, thoughts, seem ready for the start of the season? I know there's some players still away on holidays, but do you think there's still another level to go before the season starts, or are they ready for what you saw today? Yeah, there is obviously different layers and different things that uh, we need to improve and, and get better at, but I think we have good foundations at the moment. The spirit is good, the way the boys are working, applying themselves, that will that they have to, to compete and win um, is there, and uh, just... We're going to try to maximise uh, the last two weeks to get in the best possible condition. Thank you. Hi, uh, Mikhail. Great to see Kai out again today. Um, playing in midfield, do you think next year is it a striking role or midfield role for him? How do you see him evolving? Well, today we're playing there because obviously we are really short in numbers in, in midfield at the moment and, and we have to maintain a competitive uh, team and uh, we decided to play him there. And finally, one at the back. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Mikhail, how are you? Hello. What do you think of the support of the fans here at SoFi Stadium? And moving forward, do you have any message for the fans? Thank you so much again for uh, coming to watch us. Hopefully they had um, a good time and, and we provide an a good entertainment to them. And that is fantastic. It's an unbelievable stadium. Uh, very different to where you are used to. It's a lot of light, a lot of noise, a lot of music and voices. So it's, uh, it's something different, but uh, very enjoyable. So thank you so much. Okay, well, we're good. Thanks for yeah. coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.